What's up guys, we just made it to Jimmy Hula's and we're going to attempt to make a giant burrito. Let's go. Woo! 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 Yeah, giant burrito. The reason we're making it is because we got a competitive eater coming here who thinks that he can beat all, all of you guys. I think that they can take on what, one little I think so. Where is that guy? Is he even here yet? This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online community with thousands of classes to explore your creativity and learn new skills. Is there something you want to learn right now? Type it in. There's a class for it. Photography, illustration, graphic design, lifestyle. I've been editing using Final Cut Pro for over nine years and I just switched to Adobe Premiere because honestly, I was getting made fun of. Bro, you use Final Cut? Like, what's wrong with Final Cut? No, you gotta use Premiere, it's so much better. So, I use Skillshare to learn Premiere within like three days, got me up to speed. Now I know both platforms, and guess what I learned? Final Cut's better. But there's such a demand for these skills now with social media being so prevalent. Like how to shoot professional videos just with your phone, social media marketing tools and tips for going viral. I've been trading in the stock market and been making a ton of mistakes. And then it occurred to me, oh Skillshare, typed in stock market, bam, so much stuff. And as we're filming this video, I'm still learning more. The first thousand people to use the link or my code right here will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. That's 33 days of education. Don't get ripped off. You guys make burritos here all the time, right? So how are we gonna make it like big? Giant tortilla shells. You need your giant tortilla shells, right? And how are we gonna do that? We're gonna whip it up. Okay. That's what we're gonna do. Julia, they need a little bit of help. We gotta get bigger tortillas. Dude, I made it myself with the help of other people. And I actually didn't do anything. But how do we make these tortillas? That's a good question. It's quite simple. Basically, all you gotta do is mix together flour, salt, baking powder. You make a little hole, like a little well. You add oil and warm water. And you just jimmy hoo all that together. They had like six dough balls because they're like, okay, we might mess up. So we had had six of these things and basically Julia had this method where she would hit the pin down, roll out, push in, lift the dough up, rotate it 90 and keep repeating with flour until you've got at this point I'd say an impressive 32 inch diameter tortilla. Either way we did manage to get it on our griddle. Guys just so you know and like this tortilla isn't round and after grilling for roughly four minutes per side on medium high heat we've got a toasty roasty tortilla show and you guys can get one of these too at healthyjunkfood.com you just have to wait what how long does wish take seven months check out how small that burrito is compared to this massive burrito whoa yo look how big that fire extinguisher is whoa <laughs> Just like grab like a whole thing and just drop it right out of here. We're gonna need a bunch. I need two Wellingtons. So the tortillas we made need like a little bit of lubrication, a little bit of moisture, and uh, we're gonna pop that on the griddle. I, I might just kind of splash some water on it, get it all like happy, and then uh, we'll take it off. Oh, perfect, 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 perfect. Beautiful. All right, first thing we plop down is the handsome amount of guacamole. When I say handsome, it's because they only use fresh hand smashed avocados here with their Jimmy Hula secret recipe. All right, and then we use che a, layer, a layer of cheese on top. We'll throw the steak and shrimp on top of it. Oh, this is fun, right? Absolutely. French fries and then our Baja sauce. Dude, can we keep going? Put it on top, roll her up, cut her open. Chipotle, take notes. Ah, Jimmy Hula. Oh, this is a big one. This is a big daddy. Oh, oh, it's brittle. It's fine, it's fine. She's still good. We're good. We are good. Mo Fungo coming in at 7.07 pounds. And number two, 6144. Okay, we should definitely give Nate the bigger one. He's gonna know this. It's obvious, actually. Uh. <laughs> All right guys, we just made two giant freaking burritos coming in at an average of six pounds. All right, this is the first time you're ever competing against a real competitive eater. One going against three. It's a time competition. Who's gonna win? You guys gotta find out. And the competition starts in three, two, one, Go. Hey boys, cheers. We got a cheers, wasting time, that's fine. We got Nathan hitting it up. Nathan is a pro, I've watched several of his videos. These guys though, these, I can tell, they've been working here, they've been seeing the food day in, day out, and they're hungry, they want it, he wants it. I've, I've been back there with Tony all day, he's just like, yo bro, he's looking at that steak like I wish Julia looked at me. And then we got Frenchie in the middle, Jacob, he's a actually a social media marketer, freelance, if you wanna check him out. And then of course, the Jimmy Hula's filtered water. Like you can't get any better than that. I've been at so many restaurants and I'm like, yo, where's your water branding, bros? 
These guys are killing it. A lot of protein, a lot of starch, a lot of carbs, a lot of sugars. It's hard to get a good bite. Tony, I think, is killing it. I think this is the guy I would have put money on when I first started this. As far as Frenchie goes, this guy's been at Junior Hula's since the inception. And much respect. I kind of jive with the passion of cooking food and seeing the bright, brightly faces on the people that come here every day. This food is bringing joy to so many people. Even Frenchie today. He's killing it. All right, we're about eight minutes in. We have almost a full burrito consumed by three guys. Something's got to happen. See, see, what you're doing here is not what you can't do that. All of this. You so need... I should leak my plate. No, yeah. <laughs> you, right here. Like, Nate will get you for that. Now you're not hiding it under the napkin. <laughs> <laughs> the napkin is just on the plate. We're doing good. Honestly, the least suspecting person would have to be Jacob here. <laughs> like, that is extremely impressive. I am, I can't even with that. So Jake just said something along the lines of, I'm feeling dizzy. You don't have to eat it. If I want to win, I do. Great answer. Jake, would you ever do a competitive eating competition again? I don't think so. I think I'm going to hang up the cleats. She's seen me uh, struggle several times, and I agree with Jacob. I don't do it again. That's why I give so much uh, credit to Nate Figueroa here. Go follow this man. This is the moment. This is the moment everyone's been waiting for. They're almost done. There's just a few more little nibbles. All right, Tony, your mom's gonna be proud of this video. You're gonna share this with your mama. I can't believe you're still chewing. Nate even drove three hours to do this too. Nate, by yourself, you ate probably around five and a half pounds of food, and that is absolutely amazing. We did it. Go being regular.